welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another exciting swatch party video. OMG. Obviously you saw from the title it is a Pinky Rose swatch party video. Now I just got this package in the mail yesterday and I'm sure you guys already know what's in here. I just wanted to show you how well everything came packaged. It was a nice big box and then everything came double packaged in these little plastic sleeves which I thought was genius like they did such a good job packing these up and none of my shadows are broken so I do want to swatch the palettes for you I also want to tell you guys a little story about my pinky rose obsession I found them on Instagram was it last year sometime and I saw these palettes that they had and they were so spectacular because I'd never seen anything like them. And I was hesitant because I'd never heard of the brand. And I picked this one up on sale or they were doing free shipping or something. And this is the transition palette. And the one I'd actually wanted was this beautiful like green yellow one. Keep in mind, this was when like it was hard to come by palettes with this particular color story. And I just couldn't buy myself to pay full price and pay shipping. So, I bought this one when it went on sale, and as you can see, it's completely untouched. So, yeah, I have that. And then, I remember seeing this palette online, which is part of the Spotlight collection, and I was like, ooh, that, again, like, I don't know anything about this formula because I clearly didn't try the other palette. And then I saw Angelica do a review on this, and I was like, well, if Angelica thinks it's good, I should probably get it and I did get it because it was out of stock forever and then it came back in stock when I was in Sri Lanka this year and as you can see this one is also untouched so I already have two palettes from Pinky Rose that I'd never used and then I was talking to my friend Annette talking to me about these three new palettes and she's like I'm gonna get them and I was like that's cool I was like I am thinking about them because they looked beautiful and then I was like but I have two other palettes from Pinky Rose I never used and then I was just like I don't know you guys I'm telling you I don't know what's going on but I was like they're so beautiful and so I just grabbed all three so I thought today I'll do like an epic Pinky Rose swatch party what I'm gonna do is swatch the three new ones first I'll put timestamps in the description box if you're only interested in a certain palette so you don't have to be here forever and then I'll swatch the two older ones and then I'll force myself to use all of them or at least the three new ones and review them for you. I would love to do some looks with each of these palettes and that's definitely more of my goal for 2019 is to buy less palettes and do more videos with the palettes I have. So the one I was most attracted to was Exotic Peacock and this is the packaging. I love yellow so I think this is really cute. And I love how skinny these palettes are too. They're really, really nice. And then these are the shades. And let's get to swatching. I've never swatched anything from Pinky Rose. Can you believe it? Even though I have all these palettes and then I just buy more. So these are like very interesting color stories. And here are the first four shades. We have Wings, Peacock, Honey, Truth, Tease. So there's the first four, uh, first five shades. Gorgeous. And on to the next five. Ooh. Okay, so these are the next five shades. We've got Enchanted, Erotic, Salty, Sol Sultry, Discreet, and Risque. Risque is beautiful. It's like a dirty green color. Okay, and then the last four shades are Lovesick, Lustful, Provocative, and Dreams. There's Dreams a little bit. These did swatch really beautiful. So I'm excited to play with these. And let me
let me show you guys the palette one more time as well. Okay, so that is the first one. And then let's do this one. It's called 80s Baby. Here are the shades. This one's definitely more purple heavy. Cute, one of the shades is called Care Bear. Ooh, these are yummy. Okay, so the first purple is called Care Bear. We have Virgo, the baby. 17 and 1981. So there's the next five. We have Ya Sabes, Dreamer, Fuerte, Dapper, and Oracle. Sorry, I think I might have butchered some of those names. And then the last four. Ooh, this red shade called Amore is very beautiful. So there's the last four. Let me turn my hand. Oops, <laughs> really crashed into that one. Okay, I messed up, sorry guys, but that's Amor, Whiskey, Churro, and Caliente. <laughs> so that is the 80s baby swatches. Sorry, Ugh. here we go. Super pretty. I'm making a huge mess. Okay, this is the last one. This is called Obsessed. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to go on the inside of my arm here. First five, let's see, it's beautiful yellow, so we have Party On, Rad, Pigment, 90s Love, and No Fear, these are the next ones. So we have Sisters, Lefty, Dan, Gina, Whatever, and Brick House. It's an interesting color combo. And then the last few are even more interesting shades. So let's swatch those for you. Here's the last four. There we go. So we have Stay Golden, Fresh, Cookie, and Joker. So here are the swatches of the Obsessed palette by Pinky Rose. Okay, and then the next Skinny palette, this is the one they've had out for a while, and it's called the Bright Lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that one too. This one has pressed glitters in it, so I'm not sure how those will swatch, but oh. Isn't that pretty? Oh my god, it's called Cupcake. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, I always do this. Okay, so here we go. Dang it. Mm -hmm. I have Smash, I have Cupcake, Punky, Brulee, and Pop Rocks. I'll try and do a better job of swatching the next few rows. This Dreamsicle shade is so what I picture a Dreamsicle to be. Dreamsicle and boom. So cute. Okay, so the glitter shade is called Dazzle. It's like a teal green. Glitz and Cloud. Um, glitz definitely reminds me of some of the shades in the 80s palette. Or is that the Obsessed palette? I think that might be the Obsessed palette, sorry. I've officially run out of swatch arm space, so maybe I'll just go right here. <laughs> so the last four are Lit, Tiki, Becky, and Tickle, which is like a pinky shimmer. 
So there's those. And then there's the top. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do a good job. I should just start over. And then I want to swatch the transition but I'm gonna take all the other swatches off and I'll be right back. Okay guys, here is the last palette and let's swatch this one. After I just swatch all those fun colors, this one looks kind of like a snoozy fest, but yep, this one is definitely a snooze fest. <laughs> it's like the Huda New Nudes palette, but more boring. <laughs> so I swatch Yes Girl, Sunny, Dream, Two Lips, and Throne, and then I have Plum, Fierce, ooh, and Taffy, and then the blush, or it's called like Transition. That's that big shade in the middle. This could be like a good dupe for the Lolita palette, or like what the Kat Von D Lolita palette should have been like, because I feel like all mattes, I don't feel like I could get a lot of good use out of the Lolita palette, so something like this has a similar color story but a few shimmers because I am a shimmer girl. I definitely like to have a little bit of shimmer on my eyes. I can't live without shimmer. So yeah, that is the last palette from Pinky Rose that I own. And I also forgot to mention on this side it says night look, this side it says day look. It's kind of a unique palette. I think these ones came out quite a bit ago so I've just been holding on to it for way too long. And then these are the bright lights and the three new ones. So I think I'm very well set for the next couple of weeks. I will try and get reviews of these out shortly. I'll try and also film some looks so you guys can reference those. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.